Early in the morning, late at night. It don't even matter what time it is. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my vlog. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. I'm about to go and get my lashes done in a bit. I have a 1 p.m. appointment. With a 1 p.m. appointment, like, I can't even do anything else for, like, with the rest of my day. Anyways, you guys, I've just been, like, on my laptop answering emails and like planning the rest of my days because i have a busy next couple of days coming up i have a lot of like tiktoks to film i have a, a youtube video i think i'm finally going to film my makeup video that i've been putting off for the longest for you guys the reason why i kept putting it off is ooh, sunlight just came in the reason why i kept putting it off is because i can get the lighting right but i changed the configuration of my room let me show you guys okay the desk is now facing this wall where i have like my shoes and stuff and i think i'm gonna take my shoes and put it below the window um and i'm still trying to figure out what to do with this room like i definitely need some shelving because i don't want my shoes to just be chilling on the floor like i need them to be up somewhere maybe i'll get like a bookcase from ikea to store all my stuff but we'll see um, i also just received a public desire package i'm doing a tiktok for them for valentine's day so this is one of the bags that they sent me and i got these heels as well you know cute pink valentine's day vibe these i'm really excited about i got some boots so they sent me some boots a nice cute boot let's try these on my thing with boots is that i have skinny legs and i hate sometimes that they're just too wide on my thigh so i'm hoping that these aren't too wide they don't look wide but still like i said i have skinny legs so fire okay so i'm trying to see which outfits to wear for this tiktok that i need to make i have this dress i don't know if you guys remember i got this dress from revolve the only thing is i feel like i need to get this tailored like this is what it looks like normally i would want it to be like this i would definitely wear with this bag but like i don't think i would do these boots and i would probably do the other heels i think that would go actually i think this is really cute actually you know what that could be one of my outfits so now i need to find two other outfits i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my lash appointment because I need to leave soon. It's been like a month, more than a month since I got my lashes done, which is kind of crazy. This is what I'm gonna wear. I recently got some stuff from Aritzia. They had a sale. I got a bunch of stuff. So this is one of the sets that I got. I got this top in an extra small. And then these bottoms I got in a small. They're like their flared leggings. I got these in the tall specifically. The regular size ones don't fit me properly. And this is like the length of them. I still wish they were a little bit longer. It's crazy that these are tall. Like these are considered for tall, but I'm like 5'5". Five five. Like what if you're like 5'7", five 5'8"? Five they definitely need to work on their like lengths for their pants because I find a lot of their pants are just so short. This is in the color Red Archo. Let me just show you guys the other stuff I got. So I got, oh my God, these look like they're so short. TNA butter leggings, these were in a size small. These were also on sale. And then I got these pants. I'm so hoping these are not short. These are the Lenny pants in the heather color. They're like a ribnet material. Ugh, you guys, these are like too short. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna stop buying pants from Aritzia because this is ridiculous. Like, and you guys, these are final sale as well. The blue green leggings fit me really, really well. I got these in a size small. These are the TNA butter leggings and they go all the way down to my ankles. So I'm really happy with the leggings. The leggings stretch out really well, but the other pants really don't, so. And then I also got this like sweat set. These are their cozy fleece. And as you guys can see, it's definitely like a bit too short for me, but I feel like with sweats, you can finesse it. Like you can wear, what's it called? Like socks with it. Oh, I love this set. This is so cute in this color. Maybe I'll just wear this because this is so cute. But yeah, guys, I've been trying to move away from wearing just like new colored pillows. I got these in extra small and this in extra small. I don't remember why I got these in extra small because normally I would go for a small. But it's probably because the small was sold out and the only size up is an extra small. So I think I took a gamble on these. But I like them. Really cute. Every time.
didn't know where to put so as you guys saw I ended up putting this underneath the desk which I should have done from the beginning but I don't really know where to put my um, my mic so I just put it back there because I don't really have anywhere else to put it and I don't want it to just sit on the desk because it's definitely an eyesore and you guys tell me why I only have one perfume right now because I literally during the moving process I have no idea where I placed all of my perfumes I only have this one because this was in a separate bag. All of my other perfumes, I had like a mini collection going. I have no idea where they are. And it's crazy because perfumes are so expensive. So I thought I would like find it or stumble upon it at some time. I was like not really worried because I can sometimes like misplace things and sometimes I can be forgetful. But I still have not found the perfumes, like my whole perfume collection. So yeah, literally all I have right now is that one little... Carolina Herrera perfume, which is crazy. The bathroom is clean as well, organized and stuff. I need to get some glass cleaner, so I'm gonna go do that. And the shower is not completely clean, 
but i was just like you know what i'm just gonna do that one when i'm in the shower when i'm showering because it was kind of difficult for me to get like everything and then i was getting wet and i was like you know what let me just clean that when i'm in the shower this stuff i didn't really know where to put that's like some zara stuff that i bought skims like gift bag which i'm not sure where to place either this i don't like i also think it's really an eyesore but i don't know where else to put it so yeah everything is clean and now we just have to tackle everything else <laughs> I changed the configuration of like my bed. I put it on this side. If you guys remember in my last vlog, I was talking about how there was just like no space to walk around when the bed was facing this way. And even like making my bed was really hard and stuff. So this just feels a lot better. And for some reason, I feel like it makes the space look bigger. I don't know. I'm about to put my sheets on. These are not just any regular sheets. These are actually Brooke linen sheets. I've been so excited. I recently got these in the mail and I've been so excited to use them. The first time I heard about Brooke linen was when I think Tiara Walker included this in her video. And she was basically just talking about how soft the sheets feel and how they just help her whole sleeping experience. And since that video, I was like, I definitely need to get my hands on Brooke linen. So I'm so happy that I was finally able to do so. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. So if you guys don't already know, Brooklyn makes high quality bedding at a more affordable price. They're able to do this because they completely cut out the middleman. This bundle, I got the Lux Hardcore bundle, which basically includes your regular sheet set. It comes with a duvet cover and two extra pillowcases. So this costs around $200 to $250 depending on the size of your bed. You guys know that I move, so I've been trying to get like a bunch of new stuff. I've been looking into getting sheet sets. And if you're looking at a good quality sheet set that has a high brick count that is really nice and soft and comfortable, you're definitely looking at around $500 for a good quality sheet set. So the fact that you can get the same quality for like half the price approximately is honestly amazing. If you decide to get the whole set, you are saving approximately 25% off instead of getting like everything individually. So I definitely recommend that you get a set or the bundle in this case rather than getting individual items. If you guys want additional savings on top of that, right now Brooklyn is having 15% off all of their products. They are having their president sale currently, which is running up until February 23rd. So now would be the perfect time to stock up on some good quality sheets you guys they also have different patterns you guys i'm definitely into the all white like hotel look but if you want something different they have tons of patterns you can choose from you can mix and match it if you would like as well this year i am not playing about my sleep okay having good sheets sets you up to have a good sleep which basically sets you up to have a good productive day the next day so that's something i'm definitely super anal about i have to make sure that my sheets are very comfortable my bed as a whole is very comfortable especially this year I'm prioritizing self-care and making sure that everything is set up for me to succeed. So having good sheets is definitely super important, you guys. The bed is done. This bed looks so good. Doesn't this look like a hotel bed? I kind of don't even want to sit on it because I made the bed so good. I cannot wait to sleep in my sheets tonight and like feel how this feels on my skin because it literally just feels so nice and soft. And of course, you guys do not forget they're currently having their president sale, which means 50% off all of the Brooke Linen items. So this would definitely be the perfect time to get you guys some sheets. I still have like the whole kitchen living space to clean literally but i need to go my younger sister zainab i don't think you guys have met zainab yet but she's in the area she needs me to drop her off somewhere her and her friends so i'm gonna go do that quickly i wanted to go to the mall today so i'm just gonna take advantage of like me leaving the house to go do everything i need to do that's probably her call and then i'll come back and do everything else So I came to Aritzia to see if they have a like crop jacket. This is the teeny butter material. It's like a different material. They usually never have this in the store, so I think I'm just gonna pick it up. Isn't it extra small? I would prefer small. Doing okay in there? Yeah, I'm doing good. So happy I came to check if they have some. Here. 
I came specifically to check out the Makeup by Mario foundation since obviously that's been like all the rage recently. Let's see if they have my shape. There's one left of this foundation. I think it's the one. Do so you guys see the difference? No foundation? Okay, I think that's a really good match. Okay, perfect. I'm so happy they have it in stock. Okay, so picked up my alteration and I'm about to head home. Honestly, for a Saturday, I feel like the mall is not even that full. Sometimes I'm scared of coming to the mall on Saturday because there's just so much going on. But it's not even that bad today. It's time to clean some more. I'm honestly so tired. But this place just looks absolutely like nuts. I need to do something about all of this stuff that we have going on here. Because it's not cute. So I think I'm going to clean everything out. Vacuum. We're gonna leave the mopping for tomorrow. So. Just you pray for my genius, girl, I got you. Every time I sip on codeine, I get wrong. Annoying the sounds of the storm when it comes. She understand I can't take her everywhere, a nigga going. I've been in the field like the children or the corn. I can hear your tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at yourself because you can't leave me alone. Gossip, Good morning guys, I'm doing a voiceover because of the clip that I was talking in, you absolutely cannot hear me, but I decided to come to the gym this day. Do not come for my form, please, because this was the first time that I worked out in like a couple of months, so my form was, I mean, I don't know, you guys can let me know how my form is actually. Um, but I came to my sister's gym, the gym in my apartment isn't ready yet, so I came to hers and I was just doing a quick little workout. I've been meaning to try and get back into working out for so long now. And now that I have braids especially, where I don't have to think about my hair, I was like, okay, you really have to get to the gym, so, yeah. Oh 
see I got a lens which is really exciting however I didn't even realize that this isn't a zoom lens so it doesn't zoom in at all I just the one zoom setting that it comes in is the one and I really don't like that and I feel kind of like an idiot because I should have looked into that but I don't know I didn't really think about that so 60 millimeter f 1.4 lens and I didn't realize that if there's not like this one, by example, the one that comes with my Canon camera is 15 or 45 millimeters, which means you can zoom in and out because you can go from 15 to 45 millimeters. But I didn't take that in until right now. So I'm going to return her, which honestly, I don't mind because this was a very expensive lens. But um, I'm so sad about that, though, because I kind of wanted to film a video with my new lens and like hopefully the quality will be better and things of that sort but i guess not i mean i could film with this even though it doesn't have the zoom function i could just bring the camera closer to me because i'm trying to film my makeup video and also i compared both footages from my this camera with the original one and this lens and i kind of like this one better which is how it is this is gonna go back unfortunately um maybe i'll try looking for another lens it depends if like today's video goes good because this is the second time I'm filming it. I filmed this video last, I think on Friday my makeup video and the footage came out bad. But I think I know why. I don't think it has to do with the lens now that I think about it. Focus on me. As I just finished filming my makeup video and it came out great. I'm like so happy because if you guys know anything about me when it comes to footage, especially makeup videos, I'm like so picky. The thumbnail is usually the first thing that I do because if the thumbnail doesn't look right, then I have to go back and like take more pictures. Um, and I have to hurry up before like the light, like before the lighting goes away and stuff. So I make my thumbnail literally as soon as I'm done filming because if it doesn't look good, then like I said, I have to just take more pictures. If the thumbnail looks good, then everything else is good to go like i can start editing i'm gonna try to get this video out for you guys tomorrow actually look at me being consistent on youtube and really getting these videos out for you guys no but really i really need to start being more consistent so chai tea latte my old chai tea latte at home but i'm not even gonna lie they do not hit like starbucks old chai latte it's like i've been trying to make my drinks at home and just eat more so at home in general because things are different i have bills now i can't be buying seven dollar drinks every day like that's ridiculous so i'm trying to be more mindful of like where i spend my money um but yeah i just like treating myself today this tastes so freaking good like good morning today is thursday the 16th of february i'm on my way to go get my nails done meters. slight right onto dupont street i'm on my way to go get my nails done i just went to go get a car wash because my car was very dirty and i, I picked up this starbucks drink I'm going to a new nail tech, which I'm like really, really excited about. I had a great experience with my last nail, um, nail tech, but she's like an hour away from me now. Like she used to be 10 minutes from my house, but she's definitely a lot um, further from me now. And it's just like, it's not realistic for me to keep going back to her because she's just so far. But like I said, she was honestly great. Like I highly recommend her if you guys are in the East and to check her out. But I found this girl on Instagram. She does almond nails. I'm actually trying to go back to almond nails. I don't know if you guys remember. I did almond nails for a bit. And I was like, uh, I don't think this is for me. And then I went back to square nails. But I want to try it again. Because it just looks so good on other people. So like, I don't know. I want to try it out again. I also want to do gel X instead of acrylics. Which is what this girl does. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. New nail tech. Let's see how I like her. She also... I'm in the loop. I'm on a race, oh, I stay out the way. Got another slot on me, I like to get it poppin', but these bitches in my penis call me your tattoos and violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm scared, I'm the lowest of the lowest. 
such an amazing job they're really nice and thin they're not too bulky the shape is perfect like I'm really in love with these she might be my new nail tech honestly because these look really really good let me show you guys should I show you guys what okay let me show you guys the couch first because the couch came in yesterday <laughs> so exciting now okay I this couch is from normal concepts this is called a quarter couch and I was obsessed with this couch I felt like it would give my space a really like modern aesthetic vibe however I just feel like the couch is too short and like I don't know if it takes up too much space like it just I don't know I don't know you guys but like I expected to like love it and then as soon as like they the guys unwrapped it I was like I don't know if I love it like I don't know if it fits the space. I don't know. I don't know what's missing. I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to it. So I actually went on Amazon and bought some legs to replace these ones because the legs they have on here are like really small. I think they're like two inches. I got six inch legs to replace these. I'm gonna put them on today. It should be coming like in the next couple of hours. It should be coming really soon. So I'm gonna put that on. I'm like, I got that immediately because I'm like, whoa, something looks off. I don't like the way this looks. I feel like this is too low. I don't know you guys let me know as well how you feel about it in the comments like I want like other people's perspective on it because again it could just be that I'm not used to it anyways we'll see how it looks once I put the legs on it and hopefully that kind of helps what I got from uh, Ikea so I got this large mirror I ordered a console table on Wayfair which is gonna get here um, towards the end of the month that'll probably be in the next vlog and I got this to put like on top of the console it's gonna be in like this little nook area near the second bathroom i also got these lamps i got two of them but still i don't necessarily know if i'm going to use both of them i might return one of them um my idea was like i can put one on each side of the um, couch so I put this all together honestly I feel like this helps to make this space look a lot better like I love the way this lamp looks um, I think I'm gonna do the other one as well like put it together and put it on this side and see how that looks I don't know if it's gonna be too much for the space like I don't know if two lamps is gonna be a lot because once again this is quite a small area but I'm gonna see how it looks because the one this one lamp I feel like makes this space look so 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 good these lamps by the way are $100 from Ikea each $99 I saw on the app that these are now or never so I think that means that Ikea will not be restocking these so if you guys are interested in these definitely go to your local Ikea like ASAP and see if they have them which is why I went to Ikea like so soon I saw these on the app like a couple days ago and I was like I need to go before someone snatches these up because there was only three left in store and thankfully nobody snatched it up so yeah. I'm finally going to show you guys how I do my little chai latte that I be doing. It's actually very simple. I already had one this morning. However, um, this thing broke. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. My viewfinder is broken, so I can't, like, see myself. But, um... This broke like the cover came off so I'm just gonna make myself two chai lattes today my friends actually coming over and I'm gonna probably make her one too cuz I just need to finish this out so I start off usually by putting some ice in I got these like ice cream things from um, 
from Winners actually to the mayor. And then it's literally the most simple thing ever. So I go in with some chai. I'm not gonna put too much because I already had one today and I don't wanna be like super caffeinated. But normally you put half this and half of half um, your other choice, your choice of milk, like whether it's regular milk or um, alternative milk. So I have these two, I have oat milk and I have almond milk. I really love the taste of oat milk and I feel like whenever I use this one specifically, like this brand, I believe this is the brand that Starbucks uses. My drink kind of tastes like Starbucks. However, this is so expensive, so I kind of like to use a little bit of this and then I put a little bit of this and I still get the taste of the oat milk, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put some of this inside. This one, I'm actually gonna froth up. So this is the um, extra creamy one, as you guys can see. It's really easy to like froth it up, basically, and thicken it up. Okay, and we're gonna froth it. Ooh. I kind of feel like my frother is broken, to be honest, because it doesn't like move how it used to move when I first got it. It like splatters a lot now. But I mean, it still kind of does its job. It's just like annoying. I see how that literally thickens up and then we're gonna pour this in honestly I put a lot of this I'm gonna put a little bit more chai because I put a lot of milk and I also got this sweetener from Starbucks actually when I went in store once they have they don't have this at every store but they have it like sometimes you can find it I'm gonna put a little bit of this inside here that's enough Literally a little bit. I'm trying to wean myself off of like super sugary drinks, so I don't put a lot of this. <laughs> Let me get my straw. So good. Guys, I found a really good way to like not taste this, because I don't know if you guys remember what I said. This was like really just kind of disgusting. Take it. Keep it in your mouth, don't swallow it, and then I just like take some of this and then I swallow it together and then I don't really taste it. Works every time. I also wanted to show you guys what my couch looks like now. So I have the two lamps and I honestly feel like it looks really good with both lamps. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I think it looks really good. Um, I did go ahead and place the legs onto this couch yesterday as well, like, but I ended up hating how that looked. I felt like it made the couch look like old. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, like it wasn't modern anymore. The legs completely changed the vibe of the couch, I, I feel like. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm warming up to this couch. Like, I actually really, really like it now. I think I just kind of freaked out when I first got it. But I think it's really cute now and I love it. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare.